Hey everyone, I just read Cabola Burn by James S. A. Corey, and I'm still not sure how to pronounce the title. Is it Cabola or Cibola? I don't know. It's a book about the conflict between a group of refugee settlers and corporation-backed colonists on the first extrasolar system planet, and the crew of the Rosinante who were sent in to mediate the issue. I'm sure this'll end well. The pros? Mertry was another compelling antagonist. It was interesting to see him from the different viewpoints, how he was usually confrontational with Holden and the Belters, but supportive and protective of the people people loyal to him like Havelock, a vile man but a fascinating character. I really liked how the book examined the dangers of biospheres from different planets interacting in unexpected ways. I feel like a lot of science fiction focuses on the big alien monsters, so it was nice to see a work give a little love to the more unassuming extraterrestrials, like instant death slugs. And the big scale alien stuff was a lot of fun, as usual. The mystery of the ring builders and their murderers kept me going for a lot of this book, which brings me to the cons. This was probably the weakest roster of viewpoint characters so far. I liked how Bazier and Havelock were both minor characters from earlier books, but I didn't find them all that interesting, and Elvie's fangirling over Holden just went on for way too long. It says a lot that the prologue and epilogue characters left more of an impact with me than most of the POVs I spent most of the book with. Just like Caliban's War was a bit of a rehash of Leviathan Wakes, this book feels like a bit of a repeat of Abaddon's Gate, just on a planet instead of in the slow zone. Both stories are about the crew of the Rosinante trying to stop ancient half-broken alien defense systems from killing all the humans in a place beyond the solar system, the pacing of both stories is very similar, the antagonists of both stories may be characterized very differently but they do a lot of the same things, it was just very noticeable reading them back to back, and Illus was kind of boring for an alien planet from the other side of the galaxy. I understand it being Earth-like was the point, and there are parts of it that were quite interesting like the aforementioned instant death slugs, but a planet covered with ancient alien ruins is nothing we haven't seen before. I understand why this book needs to be here, it's a lot of setup for later entries that can't really be skipped over, and the last chance to resolve stuff that isn't needed for the story going forward, but overall I didn't find it as engaging as the previous free books. It's a bit of a mid-series slump in my opinion, so I'd only recommend it if you're already invested in the series, but that doesn't mean it's bad, and I'm giving Cabola Burn a B. What should I read next? Comment down below. If you liked the review and want to see more, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.